Yeah, how's everybody feeling tonight? All right, a big round of applause for my man P. Diddy, y'all. Give P. Diddy some love, everybody. Come on. Black man doing his thing on Broadway. I don't know if y'all caught the play, but the play was crazy. It won a motherfucking Tony. And y'all know, black folks, we don't get a lot of black plays on Broadway. We don't even get black plays with good names. We don't get shit like The Lion King, Miss Saigon. What we get? Lord, why can't I find a man? Somebody please help me find a man. My man, my mama, and his woman live at the Beacon Theater this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tickets 1750 more at the goddamn door. And all our plays have the same cast members, am I right? An overweight gospel singer, some actor you ain't seen since New Jack City, and some singer ain't had a hit since 82. Mama, I shot my man in the foot, starring Richard Roundtree and Johnny Gill, live at the Beacon Theater this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tickets 17.50 more at the goddamn door. Because we need our black entertainers, y'all, because our black entertainers are losing their minds. My man, Michael Jackson, that's my dog. I think that's the greatest entertainer ever. But Mike fucking up, too. Mike, the only dude I know in more trouble now that he's white than he was when he was black. <laughs> Soon as he became a white woman, all hell broke loose for Mike. Trouble started finding Mike when he first hung his baby out the window. Remember he hung his baby out the window? Everybody was complaining, calling up. How could he hang his child out the window? What's wrong with him? You ever notice though, the only people that complained were the people that don't have kids. Everybody in here that got kids though, every now and then you want to toss one of them sons of bitches out a window. But you just don't do it. Then the media keeps talking about, why do kids keep sleeping in Mike's bed? Why do they keep ending up in Mike's bed? Let me tell y'all something. I'm a grown ass man. If I spend a night at Mike's house, I'm sleeping in his bed. <laughs> Shit, that's where the money's at. I ain't sleeping with Tito, I'm sleeping with Mike. And I'm coming to bed sexy than a motherfucker too. I'm coming to bed with a t-shirt on, tied up and a nut, with some biker shorts and some lip gloss. And if Mike so much as rub against me by accident, I'm suing for $198 million. I'ma get me some money out of this sleepover. You out your motherfucking mind. And I'm coming back next week with both my kids. Y'all come on, get dressed. We going to Mike's house. Hurry up, hurry up. Y'all don't need no pants. Put the pants off. Y'all don't need pants on. Y'all don't need pants on. I want Mike to know we came to cooperate. Put your... Just get your flip flops and a long t-shirt. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go get this money, motherfuckers. Come on. Y'all know, y'all do it if you too, if you could. Fuck that, let's go to Mike's house and make some motherfucking money. Cause you gotta live life now, cause everything is bad for you now, everything is bad. You can't drink the water, you can't eat the meat, you can't even make sex, good love, the way you used to. Back in the day, you could sleep with whoever the hell you want to, wake up in the morning and feel good about yourself, not no more. Nowadays, you sleep with somebody on Monday, you're dead on Tuesday. You got to be careful, you got to look for the warning signs. That's why I don't fuck around with no skinny women. Uh-uh. Losing weight is the first sign. A skinny girl wanna fuck with me, she got to show me some old photos. I gotta make sure she been skinny a long ass time. Cause you know how we are, we're all inquisitive in this room. You ever go over somebody else's house to make love to them? You leave the comfort of your home, you go over their house to make love, you finish making love, you go to the bathroom to wash up, what's the first thing you do? Open the medicine cabinet. You just finished laying down with this motherfucker. You open the medicine cabinet, you're looking at ringworm cream, itch be gone cream, monostat, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Shit, every brother in there know that'd be a long ride home. You be in your car crying, ah! I should've wore a condom! The next three days, you're at your house in the mirror. Oh my God, my glands, my glands are swollen. Some of y'all ain't laughing like you got your results back last week or something. Y'all sitting there like, ah, my glands are swollen, ah. I went over this one chick house to make love to her, y'all. I put the magic stick down on, I was feeling real good. I went to the bathroom to wash up. I opened the medicine cabinet, I damn near dropped dead. I was like, oh shit, what the fuck? AIDS, oh, Band-Aids, oh, okay. This is this bitch done scared the shit out of me. I 
started losing weight right there. I was like, God damn. This, this bitch scared me to death. Got the band-aids. This bitch putting the shit in sideways, fucking a motherfucker up. My name is Drew Fraser, y'all. Thank you so very, very much. Yeah.